just a quick overview on water pumps for four-wheel campers. Water pump is in your kitchen cabinets and it's supplying water to your sink and to your outside showers if you have that. These are pretty reliable. There's a couple things that happened to them over the years. If they sit for a long time without use, sometimes the little check valve inside of here will get stuck and sometimes with a lot of use if there's debris in the water your filter can get clogged or you can get a little bit of dirt and debris inside there's really good videos on youtube already done if you go to youtube and look up sureflow water pump troubleshooting you'll find multiple videos not necessarily from us but other rv manufacturers that cover these but there's a few basic things that you would want to look at in your kitchen cabinets this is going to be mounted inside you'll typically be able to see it some models you have to open up a little access door to, to get access to this but if your water pump is not pumping water but it's running a lot of people will take the filter cap off sometimes different models this will be hanging down so if you open your kitchen cabinets and this, this thing is down, you can rotate it up just so the water won't come out. Take your cap off here and inside of here is a screen. But if your water pump is pumping but no water is coming out of the sink faucet, sometimes it just needs to be primed. So people will take a little water bottle and squirt water into this cap while they're turning their water pump on and off so there's a water pump switch on the front of your kitchen cabinets just flicker that switch on and off a few times as you're pouring a little bit of water in here with a water bottle put your cap back on make sure you have water in your water tank as well and then switch your pump on and see if things start to flow the other common thing is inside of here there is it's not as easy to get to you'd actually have to take your water pump out there's four screws in your kitchen cabinets you'd undo those screws take the water pump out unplug it so you can have it out on a table like this and we'll probably speed the video up but you're just going to undo these nine eight nine screws right here on the the outer sides and we'll show you the inside so this cap will come off here a little bit of water in there and then the screws will come out but not not a big deal inside of here the most common thing that i've seen over the years is the check valve there's a one way check valve this round circle right here the water pump is pumping but no water is coming out of your sink faucet many times this check valve right here is stuck and if you push on it it'll it'll have some resistance and then it'll it'll pop it'll like click but you basically need it just to be free floating like that so the water can go in and out so one-way check valve so that needs to be free and just moving and then the other component in here is the top of the water pump this piece this big black piece here will come off a little bit of water in there you just want to make sure that there's no debris in here no dirt and grit and grime make sure your little covers in here just flush all that out so there's no debris in there and then that's really all you need to do to it. On the back side of this, pull this up too, is, is basically the water pump itself. So a lot of people don't mess with this, but this kind of debris in here, little bits of dirt, wipe that out. Make sure there's no grease or grime in there. Make sure that's all cleaned out. Make sure these there's a lot of grime in here. Kind of just rinse all that stuff out so all these little holes in here are clean put that back on there it's, it's universal so you can put it just about any direction you want 
So make sure all that's cleaned out. Your check valve is done. Your switch, your water lines, and this these wires usually come out of the back of the water pump with the mount, mounting area. So have these facing backwards and then put all of your screws back in here. Make sure you have water in your water tank and then fire it up. If you have water coming out of your sink and you turn your water faucet off, but the water pump still runs, there is an adjustment valve in here. There's a little Allen wrench that you would stick in the top here. It's a pressure switch. So if your water pump at your sink is flowing, but you turn your sink valves off and the water pump continues to run, you can put your little Allen wrench right in the end of here and do counterclockwise about a quarter turn. That'll adjust the pressure switch and do that a couple of times until you get it dialed in. So the water pump comes on when the faucet's open, but the water pump shuts off when your, your faucets are closed. And outside of that, if you can't get it working, it might just be time for a replacement. You can buy these online or you can call our service department. SureFlow water pump. We've used different versions over the years. So make sure you have the right model. We hope this helps. Mm -hmm.